Hello, I'm here for the interview. You're a bit early. Just have a seat. It's very fancy. Oh, thanks. I mean, it must be very convenient. Oh, wow. Look at that. Give yeah. me that. You have a certificate in every pocket. Ah, oh, yeah. You had an A minus in KCSE. <laughs> wow. You even have a certificate of participation here. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to get you to relax. I mean, I'm about to go for an interview. Was in the age limit like 28. This guy looks like he turned 28 during the last sub. <laughs> oh man. As in, he looks like he's using the wrong moisturizer. Either that or he's lying. <laughs> now that you're all here, we'll start the interview with a short essay. Please follow me. You'll each be given the same question. Write a one-page essay on the papers provided. You've been given 20 minutes. Hey. You're not permitted to use your phones. Exactly. I mean, we all pass KCSE, right? And Division 1 is They should even be happy a person like you showed up for this thing. At this point, they could ask me to make the idea and I would do it. So, <laughs> uh, so what did you write about? What do you to? What did you write? There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun? What does that even mean? Do you even want this job? Well, no. But I do have a strong desire to put food on my table, as well as to pay my rent, so here we are. You could have at least tried. Excuse me, you're on like your third interview, maybe? I've been to 17 of these things. I mean, they, they all ask you the same questions. Where do you see yourself in five years? What value will you add to the team? And the thing is, we have Google, so, you know, so we answer the questions the exact same fucking way. Language. Look, I'm just trying to be unique. How's that working for you? Um, I want to do something unconventional that has never been heard of before. I'm going to be completely honest. The what? My name is Lucy Kibata. I'm 22 years old of age. I graduated from the University of Nairobi with a degree in economics. This is actually young, considering it's a public college. I've always been ahead of my peers. My name is Tom Tindi. As you can tell, I'm a very, very qualified here. Not only qualified, beyond qualified for this job. I am driven, trustworthy, loyal, hardworking. The economy has really hurt us. So, I was retrained from my former 
employment. Analytical but also action oriented, erudite but also social. I'm a real team player but I can also work well alone. Don't be carried or be fooled by my old age. I know everything about the computer. I've attended several colleges. I really don't have any weaknesses to speak of, other than I can sometimes be a perfectionist. But really, is that really a weakness? I mean, I'd rather be a perfectionist than a slob. <coughs> <coughs> and I always give 100%. My name is David Masai. I have a bachelor's degree in commerce and a major in marketing. Everything else you need to know about me is in this book. I already have a CV, David. That's why you're here. I want to know about the things that cannot fit in these two pages. Well, there's nothing um, relevant really to tell. All you need to know is that I have good qualities and I'm educated and willing to work for pay. Young man, this is usually the point where you show off. Well, why don't you tell me what's missing in the team? Now you're telling me how I should interview you. I'm helping you already. You see that door? Use it. Hear me out, please. I'm not trying to be rude. Now. I'm just trying to make this process more effective. Daisy, get the guard to show Mr. Masai out. Look, I've been to very many interviews, a lot. I've taken NASA level aptitude tests, as well as personality tests. I learned how to bullshit just as well as the rest of them. And I landed myself a great job. But do you want to know what happened next? I hated it, and my boss hated me. The guy made his company seem like it was Google. When I joined, I thought I was going to start earning a high pay, um, traveling the world, as well as attending press conferences. But truth is, his company was broke, and he tried to make me a miracle worker. Enjoy your unemployment. Look, I decided that the next time I was doing an interview, I'd be completely honest. That way, both you and I would know what we're getting ourselves into. Wait, sit down. I want to hear more of these honest answers of yours. In return, I promise to be honest myself. Perfect. Why did your boss hate you? Game over. We didn't quite click. You promised me honesty. Okay, okay. He delayed with my pay, and so in return, I slightly adjusted the quality of my work. That's very passive aggressive. I mean, well, you said we should be direct with each other, so here I am, turning on a new leaf. Okay. In the spirit of directness, I don't like people. <laughs> I hate people too, my friend. I hate having to talk to people every day, yeah. telling them how they should do things. I just don't like my bosses breathing down my neck every 10 minutes. So what we can do is I'll send you an email of the work, and then you reply it in all caps. And that way, um, when the final report is done, it will be exactly how you want it. So next question. I love working on Saturday mornings. Less traffic, peaceful, but I love to have my little worker bees around in case I have some errands to be done. Are you willing to sacrifice your Saturday mornings just to pick photocopies for me? Hmm. Um, do I get to stream movies? Well, then fantastic, it'll be like every Saturday morning for me. What's the lowest salary you'd accept? What's the highest salary you can offer? You make it sound like your last boss was Lucifer himself. <laughs> Complete with red eyes. Ah, you can do be that, all that bad. <laughs> do you really want me to play the devil's advocate? You accept no responsibility. Well, to be very honest, I may have been part of the problem. Truth is, this guy is an A-type person, Kabisa. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm a follower, not a pioneer. I want to get to the office do my work and at the end of the month I receive my salary. If we were honest with each other from the beginning, we wouldn't have had this problem. I see. So... Do I get the job? <laughs> <laughs>